David Amber and we're here at the Real TV Films Social Media Lodge at the Toronto International Film Festival 2011. So happy to have you here. I'm with a pro who talks on camera all the time. <laughs> Just like a host off. Um, <laughs> My money's on you. <laughs> I don't know. You get to cover, uh, you, you have like a dream job. I mean you get to cover all the sports. Um, you anchor, you, you cover basketball, you cover hockey. I mean, yeah, to, to yeah, doing a lot of stuff. I was uh, I was at ESPN yeah. for a while, and now I'm back in Canada. I'm at the NHL Network and yeah. NBA TV Canada, so I get my fill of basketball and hockey. So it's a nice little mix. Awesome. Yeah. And um, so, how did you uh, get your start? I, I think we were talking about that earlier, but I'd yeah. love to know how you got into sports specifically in ESPN. And well, I was I went to McGill University in Montreal, and then I decided I want to get into sports broadcasting, and so I, I went down to Syracuse University, where all the you know Bob Costas and Mike Tuick and all these really big name guys in the sports broadcasting industry came out of and uh, after that I went up to Sault Ste. Marie and started out and I did news and some weather which was really horrible awesome. and a little bit of sports and then and then from there I went to TSN so I've always was sort of working towards sports and then uh, yeah it sort of just took off from there so I was really lucky timing was good and yeah. uh, you know I had a little bit of luck and there there we are now is it still super exciting to cover it's always changing right sports uh, I mean every game is exciting every some are more exciting than others, I can't lie. But I mean, you get to go to do some big events. I've yeah. covered some Olympics before. I've covered World Series and I've covered Stanley Cup Finals. And when you get to those big events and, and the whole world's eyes are on this yeah. event, you're like, wow, this is really cool that I'm, I'm getting paid to be there and to cover it and to be part of it and watch history unfold. So there's been some really, really cool moments, yeah. Now, something I love about sports is that someone who actually, you know, was sports were my whole life growing up. There is something very uh, emotional about sports. People get so involved yeah. and there's so much heart in it and so much emotion for fans, for players. Um, do, I was wondering if you have any favorite moments from the last couple of years even working. Oh my god, well there's so much passion in sports as you said and to be at some events, I remember being at uh, the Green Bay Packers home opener a few years ago and having a chance to actually kind of walk around the tailgaters at Lambeau Field and I thought this is so cool because these people, it's not just, it's the social fabric of that whole community, it yes. was not really about the sports, it was about life to them, yeah. it was life and death to them and it was to see to be there and sort of walk around and to sort of be integrated into that you know football community for a day was, was really really cool and then obviously you know watching in Canada win gold in the yeah. Olympics in 2002. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, you know, moments like that and at the 2000 Olympics watching people win, you know, the 100 meters championships and things of that nature and, and just seeing the, the pride they had for their country, representing yeah. the country was really, really cool. So Special. those are the moments that sort of stick out in, in my mind. Yeah. And speaking of moments, you know, uh, sports films, mm -hmm. films that revolve around sports have always, always pulled at our heartstrings. Yeah. I mean, they, they back to like Field of Dreams and, you know, Friday Night Lights. And, and at the Toronto Film Festival, we have um, some amazing films this year. It's a very exciting year, I mm -hmm. feel. Um, coming up from the economy having not been great over the last few years, I feel like there's really some great stuff going on. And um, I'm wondering if there's any movies in particular and sports movies that you've been had there your eye are. on. There are, and you've got to get me tickets to some of these things. Uh, Moneyball with Brad Pitt. Oh I want, I've read the book, yeah. and I'm a real baseball fan, so I'm very interested to see his portrayal uh, in that, and I've heard good things about it. So that's one. And then I think you said it's called Goon, right? Goon. I, I couldn't remember movie. the name of it, but the hockey yeah. movie, yeah. That I'm really excited to see too, especially with everything that's going on right now in the world with the enforcers and, and you know a lot of the discussion that's taken place there. I'd like to see sort of a documentary based on you know the lives of some of the guys who've actually had to put their lives on the line yes. literally to protect their teammates and, and to take on such a unique role in sports because there's no other role like the enforcer in hockey. You just don't see that in other sports. So yeah. I'd love to see that as well. So there's a couple things I, uh, I'm hoping to get out to in the next couple weeks. Well thank you so much for chatting with us. Enjoy the Toronto Film Festival. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you, Samantha. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. You've been watching Real TV Films at the Social Media Lodge at the Toronto Film Festival 2011.